Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with a reaction. It's movie time. What's going on here, Dan? We're watching No Country for Old Men. Yes, we are. I have never seen this, and everybody keeps getting on my case. <laughs> so I'm excited to finally watch it. It's a good film. You're missing out. Not for long. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. I always knew you had to be willing to die to even do this job. I don't want to push my chips forward and go out and meet something I don't understand. What is that? Sheriff, he had some sort of thing on him, like a oxygen tank for emphysema or something. Uh-oh. Did he just get out of the, the restraints a little? <laughs> yes, sir. I got under control. He looks nuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. He's bleeding all over the place. Cut into his neck with the chains. Or it's into his wrists with the chains. I guess that could be, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Chris. What a horrible way for that to end. Just doing your job. What the hell is this? What's going on here? <laughs> I need you to step out of the car, sir. No, don't do that. <laughs> Just go. Would you hold still, please, sir? Oh, Jesus. What the hell... What just happened there? I think it just shot compressed air into his head. Why would you have let him do that? Is that Josh Brolin? Mm -hmm. All right. It's the most desolate looking land I've ever seen. Reminds me of West Texas. <laughs> it probably is West Texas. Oh my God. That's a serious firefight down here. Oh. I think this is a grisly scene. You know what I just noticed? Hmm. There's no music. Mm. -mm. It's eerily quiet out yes. there, isn't it? I ain't got no water. Dying's thirsty work. Uh-huh. 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 a drug deal, huh? He was deer hunting, and then he came across this. <laughs> Could he just be after money? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Next best thing, your deer gets away. At least you found a stack of cash. <laughs> Congratulations, honey. We're moving into a double wide. <laughs> What's in the satchel? It's full of money. Where'd you get the pistol? You don't need to know everything, Carla Jean. It's better if you don't. You're probably right. He actually came back. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I think he's dead. He's freshly dead. That's the problem. Was dumb, all right. Hey, stop! Where are you gonna go? I don't know, just go. <laughs> Where's that gun of yours? That damn dog went into that water. Uh oh. had to do. Goddamn cartel guys put that dog in that position. Yep. I've seen you was from Dallas. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo. I didn't mean nothing by it. Seriously, chill. You lived here all your life? We come out here about four years ago. You married into it. That's the way you want to put it. Well, I don't have somewhere to put it. Very well, but why are we, <laughs> where are we going with this conversation? Call it. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you're dead. You've been putting it up your whole life. Is he gonna kill this guy? For no reason? Heads in. Well done. What the hell? It's the weirdest conversation. Maybe I just lost a year of my life here. <laughs> this is truck? Uh-huh. Who cut his tires? Mexicans, I guess. That's a dead dog. No shit. Very astute. You're getting anything on this? Not a bleep. <laughs> no witnesses? I don't know. When's the county going to start paying a rental on my horse? I love you more and more every day. Good to see you, Mr. Jones. Mr. Lee Jones. Well, this is just a deal gone wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Execution here, Wild West over there. It's that Mexican brown dope. You know, might not even have been no money. That's possible. Oh, no, there was. Yep. 
Oh no. Dang, that thing's effective. How do you even make something like that? I don't know. Dear Mama, hidden for Odessa, look for us here. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> That is a disturbing dude. He really is. Like, his haircut is driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't get driven nuts by anybody's haircut. <laughs> I'm looking for Llewellyn Moss. Do you want to leave a message? Where does it work? Sir, I ain't at liberty to give out no information about our residents. Seriously, leave, leave these people alone. They don't know nothing. What about yours? I might buy you. I'm sure you are. I ain't care of my gun in 30 years. <laughs> oh, God. This is, a, this is a hell of a device with that compressed air can. Mm hmm. Oh, Sheriff! We just missed him! <laughs> you think this boy, Moss, has got any notion of the sorts of sons of bitches that are hunting him? I don't know. He ought to. They're drinking his milk. <laughs> <laughs> Like all the any place you can hide this in a motel room is obvious. But what if you can't see it? I'm sure you can find a string. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. <laughs> right. Hello. There's no well in there. Who is this? It. It's just, just working its way through it. No, just drive me around. He recognizes that truck. That'd be messed up if they already found you. A lab report from Austin on that boy by the highway. What was the bullet? There wasn't no bullet. You tell me you shot this boy in the head and then went digging around in there with a the pocket knife? Oh, sir, I don't want to picture that. <laughs> Neither do I. I want to keep my room and get another one. Another? Additional? About uh, 38. It's got two double beds. <laughs> don't, it's not the point. He's paying for it. What do you care? Yeah. Never work at a cash motel. This is the kind of shady things you deal with. Uh -huh. Little meters jumping. It's close. I wonder what the range is on that thing. I don't know. I feel like he was just driving around in a radius to see if it would go off, you know? Specifically right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, there it is. Oh my god. Going for silence. The silent commando here. <laughs> Good lord. Just blew that guy away. Oh, wow. Was that just some innocent dude? Nope, not innocent. Oh, these were cartel guys. They were waiting for him. Oh, he knew what room they were in. Yeah. He wanted to be behind them. Okay. They were just waiting. Not he didn't leave people alive. I'll take myself on the blood splatter. Yeah, the cartel was waiting on Llewellyn to come back to his room. Mm -hmm. But he saw their truck and took the room behind him and decided to get the cash that way. Right. <laughs> Ultimately, the guy got away. <laughs> Son of a bitch got away. <laughs> You know Anton Chigurh by sight, is that correct? Yes, yeah, sir, I know him every which way. Woody Harrelson, okay. Just how dangerous is he? He's bad enough you called me. Now, he's a psychopathic killer, but so what? I'm assuming that's Javier Bardem's guy? Yeah. Okay. One room, <clears throat> one night. I'm serious for you. Someone who's been looking for me, not police. You just call me if anyone else checks in tonight. By anyone, I mean any swinging dick. That's it, man. The guy is hot on your trail. What can you do? You can't guess what hotel you're staying at. No, but he can drive around until his little uh, Geiger counter there goes off. And that's the only problem. But what's weird is the other cartel guys are finding him without the tracker. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, did he figure it out? He's probably on to him. Like, there's no way all these people found me. Ah. Mm hmm. Flush it down the toilet. Wait, there's a stack of ones in there?
What? That sound like compressed air to you? It sounded weird. It took too long finding that tracker. I hear the damn meter. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That hurt. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Too close. Why'd you go back in? Taken by surprise, I don't know. Yeah, but he can't find you now. Oh. He is a shitty shot, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. He got hit. Oh. That's something, it was that door bolt that got him. Might have been. I think it's got to hurt when it hits, right? Yeah. Oh, hell no. There's like nobody out here. Just you and him. I need you to drive me on out of here. Oh. 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 Lord. Yeah, he's going nowhere. You're just getting innocent people killed. What the hell? Way to go. You could have got away, too. If you didn't crash, you would have <laughs> got away. Creepy bastard. Uh-oh. He knows. He ain't there anymore. Well, he dropped his gun. Yeah, but he's probably still got that stupid thing. <laughs> True. Man, what a scary situation. You were lucky to get away. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you cross covered in blood. And for that matter, you want to go into the lion's den <laughs> with their money? <laughs> 500 bucks for that coat. Let me see the money. Money talks. <laughs> I'll give it here. With that beer, too. How much? He just gave you 500 bucks. I said, don't press your damn luck. He's not going to give you $500 for a goddamn beer. <laughs> well, how the hell do you plan on getting over there? I don't think this is immediate concern. Well, it sure as hell shouldn't be now, but you can get some don't ask, don't, oh. some don't ask, don't tell medical care in Mexico. <laughs> this is your alarm clock. Jeez. Medical. I'm sure I'll take good care of you. Well, I sure hope so. He's got a limp there. And unfortunately for you, they will ask questions here. <laughs> Look like you're pissing in the gas tank from everybody else. You gotta go, you gotta go. Nobody's seeing that. <laughs> oh, they do now. Wow. <laughs> Food is filled with blood. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it probably looks worse than it is, but still. It's a shitload of buckshot. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. gotta flush it out. Tell you what, he knows how to doctor himself up a little. Uh-huh. Sure, if I found out everything there was to find. Those vehicles are titled and registered to deceased people. The owner of that Bronco's been dead 20 years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez. Can I get you to call Loretta for me? Tell her I'm going to Odessa to see Carla G. Moss. Yeah, Sheriff. I'll call her when I get there. Do you want me to wait till you quit the building? Uh-huh. You have a great relationship with your wife. Yeah. I'm guessing this isn't the future you had pictured for yourself when you first clapped what eyes the hell? on that money. I've seen him. Man, you're not dead. Is that a new one on you? This guy's supposed to be the ultimate badass. His name's Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you gotta give me this money. I spent it. Got a million and a half on whores and whiskey, and the rest of it just sort of blew it in. Uh-huh. <laughs> How do you know he's not on his way to Odessa? 
Why would he go to Odessa? Kill your wife. If he can't find you, he'll find her. Yeah. You can't make a deal with him. Even if you gave him the money back, he'd still kill you just for inconveniencing him. You might even say he has principles. He hasn't been allowed to stay alive that long. He must be damn good at what he does. Uh -huh. These people will kill him, Carla Jean. They won't quit. He won't neither. He can take all comers. I don't know about that. He's been dealing. They slaughter steers a lot different these days. Use an air gun. Shoots that little rod about that far into the brain. That's what he's hitting him with. Uh -huh. Why are you telling me that, Sheriff? I don't know. My mind wanders. It's wandering on the right path. Like you're slaughtering people like they're, what, livestock? Yeah, pretty much. The man's a psychopath. That is, yeah. When they hold that that kind of meeting to you, uh -huh. you know better than the cattle. Oh, he sees the briefcase. Well, I didn't hide it very well. No, somebody was going to find that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Well, he's just there. Hello, Carson. Let's go to your room. That's not. He's got him. You don't have to do this. I could just go home. You could. If the rule you followed, Roger, it is. Of what use was the rule? It's a fair question. Do you have any idea? How crazy you are. You mean the nature of this conversation? I mean the nature of you. Yes. He's scared shitless. Mm-hmm. I don't blame him. <laughs> Sheesh. He was always going to. I know where you are. You're in the hospital across the river. But that's not where I'm going. Do you know where I'm going? Yeah, I know where you're going. Then he actually is looking for his wife. You bring me the money and I let her go. Otherwise, she's accountable. That's the best deal you're gonna get. I won't tell you you can save yourself. But I suppose you can save her. Sound like these old boys died of natural causes. Well, how's that, Sheriff? Natural to the line of work they was in. <laughs> I guess that's accurate. <laughs> Back from where I see? You know what people come in here without any clothes on? No, sir. It's unusual. <laughs> you think? <laughs> like nothing ever happened. Oh shit. He's just walk into a corporate headquarters and start blasting. <laughs> oh. right the neck. You going to shoot me? That depends. Do you see me? No. <laughs> That's the correct answer. <laughs> Here we are, 90 degree heat. I got the cancer. Oh, and the tracking will do, of course. She's Christ. Which bus are you taking? Going to El Paso, don't ask me why. Oh, for it's God not sake. often you see a Mexican in a suit. <laughs> you don't tell them everything. There's no saving these two, okay? Mm -mm. If I tell you where Llewellyn's headed, you promise it'll be just you who goes and talks with him? Yes, ma'am, I do. Carla Jean, I will not harm you, man. And he needs help. I'm sure he knows it. He just doesn't want to ask anybody for it. Right. Hey, what's the problem there, neighbor? You gonna clamp him, buddy? Can you get those chicken grates out of the bed? <laughs> Come on! Just killing everybody. All they have to do is see his face. Is that enough? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my God! A lot went down here. These are cartel guys. Oh, they got him. Jesus. Relax his guard for one minute. It's your damn mama's fault. She couldn't keep her damn mouth shut to strangers. Exactly. Well, he was also getting himself in trouble with all this money business. It's all the goddamn money, Ed Tom. Money and the drugs. It's just goddamn beyond everything. It's a dirty business. Mm-hmm. He shoots a desk clerk one day, walks right back in the next, and shoots a retired army colonel. It's hard to believe. Just strolls right back into a crime scene. Never had a chance, did he? Mm-mm. There are too many people looking for him. So they didn't just depend on uh, Chigurh. They 
<laughs> they put everybody out on him. Oh, yeah. But I mean, it's almost like Shigeru is working against them because he killed all the other cartel guys. He's doing his thing and they're doing theirs. They're just getting in the way, I guess, huh? Yeah. Is the lock missing on that door? Oh. He was there. He was there. Might still be there. He, <laughs> he sure is. This has all the feel of like an old west movie, but it's super suspenseful. Mm -hmm. They were digging around for a thing of money. Is that where you stashed it in the vent? You're looking older. I am older. Got a letter from your wife. Told me you're quitting. I don't blame for quitting. Don't want to look Shigur in the eye one day and then not get to retire. Right. Get out while you can. Yeah. How come you're doing that? I feel overmatched. What you got ain't nothing new. This country's hard on people. You can't stop what's coming. I see now. The title. Mm. That was mom. She had cancer. Could have been. <gasps> you got no cause to hurt me. No. But I gave my word. You gave your word? Your husband had the opportunity to save you. Instead, he used you to try to save himself. It is true. He's a man of principle. Yeah. Call it. No, the coin don't have no say. It's just you. Well, I got here the same way the coin did. I'm going to just be under the notion that he did do it to her. I think so. Is that what's going to get him? <laughs> Isn't that ironic? What, he's messed up? Man, the guy just doesn't die, though. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh. He's his bone. Are you all right? You got a bone sticking out your arm. <laughs> no, he's not all right. What did you take for the shirt? I'll give you my shirt. Take it in. You didn't see me. I was already gone. No part of that's mine, Franklin. You still got your damn shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> Man cannot stop for an ambulance. How'd you sleep? I don't know. I had dreams. Anything interesting? All right, then. Two of them. Both had my father in them. I'm older now than he ever was by 20 years. You did better than him, then. It was like we was both back in the older times. I could see the horn from the light inside of it, about the color of the moon. And in the dream, I knew that he was going on ahead. And I knew that whenever I got there, he'd be there. And then I woke up. Sounds like you're seeing your father in the afterlife, preparing for you. Good movie. The moral of this movie, Dan, is don't get mixed in with the cartel. I mean, it's a pretty good moral, yeah. Yes. Because uh, that's where everything went wrong. You know, Llewellyn couldn't mind his own business. Went out there, took that money, didn't belong to him, and then got caught. Now, had he found that money, found the tracker immediately, and then left, and never came back? He might have gotten away with it. He probably would have gotten away with it. I think chances are really looking good for him on that. Mm-hmm. But, nope, he got greedy. Yeah, I think that kind of ties into the title of this film, you know, No Country for Old Men. Because, you know, what's the point that they're making there at the end that you kind of realize, too, when they were having that conversation in the shed? This country's not not meant for, you know, people who live that long. There's always things going on. The criminals are always going to be, you know, out there finding ways to do what they want to do. No, that makes sense. And it's like the older you get... If you can't keep if you can't keep up, the older you get, mm -hmm. then it's like then then you've learned the lesson. There. And that's the thing, you know, Llewellyn, even with his military experience, I don't think he was ready for the, the resources that these cartel guys were going to be throwing at him. Because it took him a few days to find the transponder, and it didn't even cross his mind. It did. But then, even on top of that, there's so many different ways that they were able to track down him and his family that he just never stood a chance. And then I finally saw how the cartel was finding him. They just kept following her around. Mm -hmm. And then mom, because she couldn't keep her, keep her damn mouth shut to strangers. But, you know, she's just a little old lady living out the rest of her life. Yeah. So. I mean, you know, she didn't realize it's causing any harm. No. But 
That's what happens when you don't tell people things. It's kind of the, that's kind of the double-edged sword of it, you know. Well, it's not even that too. I think you know, the Welling is a capable person. I don't know about the people around him, because even his wife, you know, she was trying to get the sheriff to help out. Sure. Like as much as she believed in her husband, she still felt that he was in over his head, and she was correct. But at the same time, her trying to help probably wasn't helping. Now I do gotta say, Shigur is a that was a different kind of psychopath. Yeah. Whenever he was, you can almost see the monster that was in him mm -hmm. when he was in the shadows, because it's like wow, the, you could tell that there is some kind of evil inside you there, but you could really almost see it, almost like the demon in The Exorcist. Whenever you're in the shadows, there, it's like wow, it's it's scary to think about. Yeah. That there is a damn killer in there, and it doesn't care who you are. It has a job to do, and it's going to do it. Yeah, I mean, the man just killed people that he had no reason to kill, you know? He killed, he, he almost killed the one guy at the gas station for noticing that he was from Texas. Or from Dallas, I mean. You know, he killed how many drivers just to get their cars? And it all goes back to, like, you saying he's a man of principle there. Mm -hmm. Because just, just the idea that you guessed that... Go back to that guy in the convenience store. You guessing that he was from Dallas... Was his, I guess, his way of saying, you know too much. Yeah, because you notice the detail that makes yeah. it harder for me to get away with things. Because now if anyone comes looking for me, you can say, oh, he's driving a car from Dallas. I think I understand the whole scene now. Because I'm sitting here like, why are you messing with this guy? But it, I guess it's you testing him mm -hmm. to see, is this guy going to actually be a problem for me? It's like, it could go either way, so I'm just going to give you a flip a coin for it. Right. So, okay. That doesn't mean I agree with it, because it's like, man, you chose the life, but still. Is it necessary to kill everybody? <laughs> like, you, like, dude transporting chickens, dude just, like, you pulled over in a cop car? Come on. Well, what's weird, too, is he kills, what, like, ten people in this film? Maybe more? Like, yeah. how is nobody on this guy's trail? Where's the FBI? It's because of the stupid weapon he's using. Still, though, I mean, if you, if you know that you have cartels who are involved in this thing... You know this guy's going through here killing all these people within supposedly a small area. You mean to tell me you don't have like any federal agencies out there hunting this guy down? No, you got a good point. It's like this guy constantly coming into your country killing people. Yeah. It's like you need to have this guy blacklisted, not able to make it past the border. And he has a no pretty specific look there. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, him. for God's sake. <laughs> Stands out like a sore thumb. He really does. It's like, did he ever give any thought to that? Come on, man. Cuts their damn hair like that, even in the 80s. <laughs> Pretty bad. I don't know what kind of look he was going for there, but it was just weird. It was a different generation of cartel folks back then. I guess. Well, I mean, they're still the same thing. <laughs> you, still, you still kill for no good reason. Yeah, if I ever see any cartel guy dressed like that, I'm going to assume they're a killer. I'm just not going to stop. If I ever see a guy like that standing on the side of the road, just like... Watching me come up, I'm like, nope, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> you chose that, you chose that, dude. <laughs> God, uh, what? It's what you get for being a good Samaritan sometimes. Yeah, you know, like you said, sometimes Texas people have a bad habit of getting into other people's business and is not the guys to get into their business with. I mean, how could they know? And, and unfortunately, there's no lessons to be learned for them. They don't get that opportunity. Sometimes that's the way it is. And that's kind of sad, too, because, you know, that... Kind of like with the two sheriffs they were talking about, that's kind of why civility is kind of decreasing in your, in your country because you try to be nice and help people and you end up getting killed for it. And yeah. so eventually the lesson learned is don't be civil, but then it just makes things worse for everybody. That was an interesting conversation that they were having about that too. People are already changing what their standard for manners is. Even if you don't recognize it, it's just kind of slowly changing. But that's, fortunately, that's just life. Yeah. It just goes like that. Obviously, it wasn't. It wasn't any kind of country for old men in the eighties here. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's still the case today? Well, and I think that was kind of Wilfred Brimley's point. Is it's always been the case. Like even back in the nineteen hundreds, as much as we you know talk about all the the great lawmen like Wyatt Earp and stuff, you still had issues with outlaws out there. You know, gunning people down left and right. Wait, was that Wilfred Brimley? Yeah, the older. Uh... Holy crap! <laughs> Why didn't you point that out, Dan? I figured you noticed that. No! <laughs> but, you know, the point he was making there is, you know, you can think of the world as an orderly place all you want, but in the corners of, in the rural areas of, or in the backcountry, wherever, wherever you want to think of it as, this stuff still goes down to where, you know, anyone can go out there and have their own personal feud and people are going to die. Mm -hmm. And I think in this case, the cartels have a big presence. You know, they've expanded their operations, their technology to the point to where... 
that yeah, they can operate more openly than what they may have done to that back in the day. But the point is, the crime was always there, and I think it's always going to be there. Yeah. Even you know, even if you look at today, you might think of us living in an orderly place, but there are issues out there where you know you do still have drugs that are running rampant around here. Even in other countries, you have the same issue too, where things are not as orderly as you might think they are. I don't know if it's necessarily a better place. I think I think it's just a struggle between the police and the criminals to keep things balanced. In other words, it's still a struggle. Yeah. yeah. All in all, I enjoyed the movie though. Um, it's a great movie. I love the I whole. Was... I love the whole cat and mouse thing between Anton and the well in there. Oh yeah. Just trying to see if they can outsmart one another. Well, in the end, didn't you know? It was just the rest of the cartel guys that got him. Is what it looked like. Yeah. At least I think. No, you're right. It was the cartel. I think he got so distracted by his match with Anton that he forgot about the other cartel guys. Like, yeah, there's still a problem, too. Yeah. <laughs> I think in this case, you can give the upper hand to Anton, though, because both of them, one way or another, had more than one group of people looking for them. Mm -hmm. uh, Llewellyn had Anton looking for him, and he had the cartel. Similarly, Anton had Llewellyn and federal folks looking for him. Mm -hmm. as what is, I think that's what Woody Harrelson's character was. But the federal folks were always a step behind. They were, but somebody ended up getting Llewellyn in there. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, you know, good on Tommy Lee Jones being this small-time sheriff. He was able to track him down and find where Llewellyn was. It was just too late. Right. I think Tommy Lee, when he was in the same room with Anton there, they just didn't didn't know it. Whenever he went back to the motel in El Paso there, or, or they were in the same vicinity. They were probably in the same vicinity. Anton was probably in the room next door or something. All right. Because I, I, I imagine he probably would have just killed the sheriff if he had the opportunity to. I'm glad he didn't, but that would have just been more to the point of the movie there. It's mm -hmm. like, yep. He didn't live to retire to be an old man. Mm -mm. Never know what's going to get you, folks. No? Well, I think we're going to go ahead and call it, folks. By all means, I want to hear everything you guys got to say about this one. Somebody out there has a really good take, and I want to hear what it is, guys. But as always, if you're brand new, please consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, please do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. Come see what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.